It's been rough, but today is a nice afternoon to get outside if you like summer and hot weather. Go for a walk, but we could see some heavy rain. Meteorologist Lorisa Sabre was tracking it all for us. We're going to go walking after after the newscast. After Larissa. the newscast, let's all go walking. Burn some of this barbecue we are expecting later today. So <laughs> exactly. Burn it all off. Uh, yeah, good thing is that we are dry for the rest of the day, but by tonight, here comes the rain, and here it is behind me. It's moisture laden, it's packing a punch, and this is going to bring rain across our area. Downpours is really what we're tracking, and we're going to time it out for you in just a moment. But today is going to be a warm one. In fact, it already is. A lot of us are in the 80s, and by the time the afternoon rolls around during the height of the afternoon, that is, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s out there. It won't be as humid as humidity will continue to slowly come down. All in all, a nice day with a mix of sun and clouds and a nice westerly wind. By tonight, this is what we're tracking, a marginal risk for severe storms, and our latest update actually omits the Jersey Shore back down towards the Delaware beaches, so it does include South Jersey, parts like Chester, out towards Towards Philadelphia counties, all of Delaware, again, the exception out towards the beaches. But this is where we could see heavy rounds of rain starting tonight, and that'll linger until tomorrow morning. So here are our severe weather threats. As of now, that tornado risk is low, but strong winds are certainly going to be a possibility with any one of these storms that form. Hail also likely with any one of these storms that fall, but leading the board is that heavy rain threat, and we are going to see the possibility for flooding as this system moves on. So let's go ahead and talk timing. You can see that by 930, some of our north, uh, some of our western communities will begin to see this rain first. As we move the clock forward, here's a look at 1 a.m. and it's widespread. It's coming down in buckets out there from Trenton to Philly out towards the Wilmington area. You're going to see pretty heavy rainfall out of this. Three o'clock in the morning, it does begin to turn scattered like, but still pockets of pretty moderate to steady rain. We continue to push through the morning. This is 5 a.m. now. Many of you will probably be up getting the day started, and it's still going to be raining out towards the Lehigh Valley, Mount Pocono. It's not until after 7, 8 a.m. that the system completely departs and behind it, we clear out nicely. So we are tracking soaking downpours beginning at midnight, continuing until around 5 a.m. Flood concerns are likely, so if you live in a low-lying area, you want to pay attention to the forecast. Damaging winds and hail, not out of the question, especially south and east of I-95. Otherwise, Thursday afternoon promises to be a little bit cooler than today with highs in the low 80s and afternoon sunshine.